But what about protecting ourselves from the fires that flare up in our bodies? I'm talking about infectious diseases. Vaccines are one of our greatest weapons against these deadly enemies. They've saved millions from polio, smallpox, measles, whooping cough, and dozens of other illnesses. But delivering vaccines can be a challenge. Many need to be kept cold, and sometimes that's nearly impossible. And most require an injection. Where medical supplies are lacking, needles are sometimes reused, which can spread disease. Bottom line, millions of people are not getting the vaccinations they need. But I hear there's a team at MIT working to overcome these obstacles. Scientist Pete DeMuth is developing a vaccine patch smaller than a dime. So what does this patch look like? It, it exists? Yeah, it exists. You can take a look at a couple right here. You can see this pattern of very small microscopic needles on the surface of the patch. These needles are actually on the order of half a millimeter or less in length. They're like this long. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and how many are there? So this patch actually has about 100 needles, um, but patches are made where there could be even thousands of needles. Looks harmless until you see it under the microscope. All right, and we'll bring this into focus. Whoa, evil. It's like a medieval torture device. The next step is to coat these needles with fine layers or films that contain the vaccine. But how do you layer anything on something this small? You've got to know how to work at the nano scale, down at the molecular level, like Professor Paula Hammond. This is actually where we build the films that contain our vaccine. How are you doing? Nice yes, you. yes, we love our friend here. <laughs> this is it, huh? This is it. A robotic arm dips the microneedle patch into trays containing the vaccine's components. You sort of co-opted the ancient principle of chocolate fondue. And the way that we make the coating is that we take the components that make up our vaccine. One of the components is negatively charged, and the other component is positively charged. The microneedle patch is negatively charged. First, it's dipped in a positively charged component, and a microscopic layer forms. Then it's dipped in a negatively charged component, and a new layer forms. In this way, dozens of layers can be built up on the microneedles, and then embedded in the skin, like a tattoo. Over days or weeks, they dissolve and release the vaccine. But what are these components? The positively charged ones are biodegradable polymers, in this case, plastics. And the negatively charged ones are DNA. So there's a polymer and there's DNA, That's which right. is genetic material. I thought you said it's a vaccine. Actually, DNA in our case is the vaccine, which is very unique but also very powerful. Most vaccines are created from weakened or killed microbes or from parts of microbes. The immune system mounts an attack even though there's no real threat. Some immune cells remember the episode. Should they ever encounter the actual microbe, they'll spring into action and destroy the invader. A DNA vaccine doesn't deliver any bits of microbe. It delivers a stretch of DNA that contains a gene for a bit of microbe, a protein. This gene inserts itself into our DNA. Now our own cells produce proteins that trigger an immune response. And the DNA requires no refrigeration. OK, David, are you ready? Dude, in what universe is that a microneedle? <laughs> We don't have to deal with this old technology anymore. Oh, that's the before, and this is the after. That was before, uh, very funny. yeah. You guys are just a laugh riot. And I'm just going to apply this to your wrist. So this is human trials starting right now. Well, let's see how it goes. All right, and we're going to place this right here. Ah! It doesn't hurt at all. It's like just a little pressure, You're holding right? up a plastic game piece to my skin. It's really nice, because these micro needles are too short to actually reach the nerve endings in your skin. And this particular one, what nasty DNA is it injecting into my body? We didn't put anything on yours. This is just a blank to give you an idea of what the experience will be like. Wow, I don't see blood, I don't see shredded flesh, just that little ring. That's right, exactly. So not only does this eliminate the problem of keeping the vaccine cold all the way from the manufacturer, not only does it solve the problem of needles being reused or misused, but 
It also doesn't hurt, which you could argue is an advantage over huge, nasty pieces of metal. It's a, it's a huge advantage. No more crying children. You have happy parents as well. Although the one downside I have to say is that you don't get the little lollipop at the end for your suffering. We would like to give you <laughs> a little lollipop. Aren't you sweet? <laughs> for being oh, such a great sport. It's a polymer. <laughs> This radical new vaccine system is still in the testing phase. If it lives up to its promise, it could eventually save millions of lives around the world.